Hi guys, last video we have seen uh, what is API and what it will return and our basic architecture of API. So the basic methods in APIs are get, post, put, delete. So let me explain the get. It's just a like get select query. If you see from SQL perspective, just a select query. So get the list of user. That's it. It won't change any detail on DB or logic. Nothing. But it will just retrieve the data from the DB. That is get method post. So you can say uh, indirectly SQL query. It's like a insert. Insert one row into the DB. For example, adding new user, adding new customer. Something like uh, when you are logging also, sometimes we'll use post. So add a new user into login table with session key, something like that. So this is add for adding uh, new data into the DB using API. This is post method. So then put. Put is similar to post, but you are not going to add a new row or new data, like entire data. So already existing one, you are going to update some detail. So for that purpose, we'll use put. Then delete. Delete is like by the method name itself, you can, you know that. So delete some information. So using, a, for example, delete user. So there may be you have to give user ID or something like that. So this is the actual like purpose of get, post, put, delete. And uh, for before starting uh, API testing, what are the things you need? So the first thing is the URL of API. So in my case, we have deployed a sample API into this IP. And then uh, if you see the sample register URL. Okay. So the task manager, the project name, version one and register here is the IP address. So the IP address where we are uh, deployed the like our API project. Okay. So the root URL is register. Method is post. Name, email, password. These are the parameters. So this kind of clear document you, you need because it doesn't have any UI. Basically API doesn't have any UI. When you're getting just a URL, you won't understand is this post method, get method, or it's required parameter, or it's not required parameter. Sometimes it may require access key from other API. So these are the basic thing you should ask. So is this SSL one or without SSL? Maybe if you get API document with clear instruction, uh, it's good. On successful uh, registration or successful, if API gets successful, what kind of response, sample response you will get. If API is not successful or uh, if something missing, parameter missing, something like that happened. So what kind of response you will get. So similar way for all the things there should be a document so like this document so this don't worry like in when we are testing your each api with the uh, postman tool i will explain you detail okay so here you can see url method parameter description this is kind of like a overall api so fetching all tasks fetching single task also there is some api so for each, this uh, is an API for a task management. You can sign up, login, then you can create your own task. Then you can fetch all the tasks, fetch the single task. You can update the task like done or not done and deleting the task. These are the API we have now for the tutorial purpose. Okay, so what else is required then? The testing tool. So it's a REST API. So we need a REST based testing tool. We cannot test it in browser anyway. We need to send a parameter and all. So there is a REST client. But in my like uh, in my tutorial, I'm going to use Postman. So we need one tool which is good for uh, API testing. So as of now, like this one is very good. Like uh, UI also very easy to understand. There won't be much confusion. Okay, guys. I think you have understood like what is API 
and what are the things required to test a API. In next video we can see that actually API and uh, what will be the response though the hands on hands on tutorial I will show you. Okay guys please subscribe the channel for more videos. Thank you.